Thank you for joining for the Believe Essential Oil webinar. My name is Lynn. I'll be your hostess for this presentation. What we're going to do is uh, I'd like to focus on the emotional healing that can happen through uh, this oil and I'd like to share with you some great information that I've discovered in the process. So what we're going to do in this webinar is we're going to learn about what emotional signs might be in your world that might give you an indication that the Believe Oil is needed. We're going to also talk about what it means to believe. Uh, how do emotions impact your health? And what if we could have belief in a bottle? What would good news is we do. And let's also talk a little bit about uh, at the end of this webinar, what would it look like if you could believe in your world or have belief in your world? So take a look at this list of emotions or feelings. There are probably some things you've felt today or this week. The fascinating thing is, I want you to think about maybe something that you've, you've suffered a disappointment about lately. Or maybe you lack belief in a process or the country or the world or you as a person or maybe some other person or maybe your future. You can see how emotions like this could really get in the way of believing in a better scenario for you. So when we talk about what is belief, it's to accept something as true, as genuine or real. It's to have a firm conviction, to believe in the goodness of something. There's so much negativity in, in our days anymore. Why not believe in the goodness of something? And if you're lacking that opportunity, then this is the right place for you to be because this essential oil may be exactly what you need to push you over that hump. Let's talk about some belief thoughts for just a second. I like this one in the Bible. It talks about everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. This essential oil is exactly the right opportunity for helping someone overcome unbelief. I like this quote by Paul Meyer. I was blessed to have worked with him or worked for his company, I should say, when I was in college. And what an opportunity. I remember this so vividly. What you vividly imagine, ardently desire, sincerely believe, and enthusiastically act upon must inevitably come to pass. That's an awesome quote. Never forgot it. How about Eleanor Roosevelt? The future belongs, belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. What hope is in that? And how about good old Audrey Hepburn? To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Now that's phenomenal, especially when we're talking about essential oils. But before we go to essential oils themselves, we do have to level set on a few things. So it's important that you know that your body can go from disharmony to harmony by bringing balance back to your world. So it's important that you understand that disease is rooted in some main emotions, fear, anger, sorrow, and then there's branch emotions that come off of that, resentment, bitterness, sadness, all the, some of the creepy stuff we saw on this earlier slide. So disease is dis-ease in the body. It's a lack of balance. So our goal is to say what can bring harmony or balance back to the body. So you can do that by bringing, you know, you can bring harmony to the cells by something very easy like someone saying thank you or someone giving you flowers or a card or chocolates. That makes you feel cared for. It's not rocket science. I don't have to prove this scientifically, although it is proven scientifically. But the bottom line is, don't you feel better when someone's done something nice for you versus when someone's done something mean to you or said something mean to you? 
where someone pays you a compliment, doesn't that make you feel good? It raises your harmony. It raises your balance. It's a no-brainer. So positive emotions can raise disharmony to harmony. Now, you know that the body has energy in it. It is made up of energy frequencies. If you don't know that, then you probably have not walked across the carpet in the wintertime and shocked your pet or your family member. So Albert Einstein said that everything has vibrations, and vibrations are what? They're frequencies. Picture an EKG machine. You know, you see it on ER and different shows on TV where they can literally see the frequency of the heart. And doctors can measure when there's disharmony in the heart. They can see it. So every cell in your body has the opportunity to have a balancing frequency. So let's explore what disharmony might look like created by a lack of belief. So in order to raise your frequency, disharmony in a cell can change to harmony by using actions, words, supplements, smells, and sounds, and a whole bunch of other things. For instance, if someone paid you a compliment, we just talked about that, doesn't that make you feel good? That goes down to the cellular level. It allows for harmony down at the cellular level. We talked about someone could give you flowers. Or have you ever remembered the smell of your grandma's cookies when you were a child? Didn't they make you feel good all over? Or maybe it's your favorite song on the radio. Just gets you pepped up, right? That's all about raising your frequency. So. What we want to talk about is how can you raise your self harmony through the concept of believing, believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, believing in society. Well, essential oils are a great way to do that. And of course, as you see, we talked about smells, right? Smells can conjure up some amazing opportunities for harmony. So we asked ourselves earlier, what if belief could be in a bottle? Well, the good news is it has been made. It is called the Believe Oil. It helps to restore feelings of hope, make it more possible to fully experience health, happiness. The emotions that this oil helps with are the following. <clears throat> it can help with disappointment, calming, fear, mood swings, confusion. Daydreaming, sorrow, worthlessness, anger, despair, lack of hope. How could addressing some of those emotions that you might be feeling right now, how could some of those help you to raise the harmony, the frequency of your cells to actually believe that the best could happen next? Now, there are certain body systems that this oil supports. The digestive system. How about the nervous system? <clears throat> it also supports the limbic system. Do you know what that is? That's where a lot of your emotions are stored, the limbic system. It supports the biliary system. Do you know what that is? The biliary system is all about working with the liver, the gallbladder. This is where you have change in your life. This is where change is processed in your body. So if you want to change to believe in a better situation for yourself, this is a great oil to support that body system that supports change. Or how about the endocrine system? That's all about communication in the body. How might this believe oil, by improving your communication, improve your outlook and your future on what your dreams might look like. Now, before we go too far, we've got to talk about what's an essential oil. As you can see here, they're incredibly concentrated. We get them from plants. They are steam distilled, and they're very, very potent. Maybe you don't know how oils work, so I'm going to cover that with you. Oils have components called aldehydes and esters. And 
may help both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's your fight or flight system and your repair system. They allow the body to relax instead of letting anxiety build up. When your body has anxiety, <coughs> it creates acid. <coughs> it activates the transcript enzyme, which transcribes anxiety on the RNA, and that stores it in the DNA. When you're exposed to an emotionally charged situation, you can diffuse this oil. It will absorb into the bloodstream through the nasal cavity to the limbic system. We just talked about that. And through the limbic system, where emotions are stored, it can help with addressing the activation of fear, rage, or trauma that might be stored in a part of the brain called the amygdala. So oils actually help to sedate the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. Now, how come the believe oil is so powerful in helping with your unbelief? There's seven oils that make up this blend. So remember to picture the person or the situation that you feel requires your belief. Get it locked in your memory. Maybe it's a situation, a person, your dreams, whatever it might be. Get it locked in as we go through this presentation and learn a little bit more about these oils. This first oil is Idaho balsam for great for calming and grounding. It helps with emotions of inadequacy, feeling scattered, separate, when you have emotional blocks or need grounding. Now, how might that help you when you're trying to raise your belief? How about coriander? This is very soothing and calming, gently uplifting. Bergamot. This one's great for emotional stress. Helps to build confidence and uplift the moods. It handles the emotion of calming, agitation, fear, grief and sorrow, panic, jealousy, and mood swings. If you want to believe in a better future for yourself, how might that oil inside this blend help you achieve your dreams by not focusing on what other people have? and what you desire to achieve. Frankincense. Boy, is this a great oil that's used in ceremonies from thousands of years for religious reasons. It's very good for overcoming stress and despair. You want to overcome your own belief? How might this oil be so powerful to help you? This one helps increase feelings of inner strength and spirituality. It helps with the emotions of ready for this, feeling worthless. Hmm, how might that get in the way of your belief journey? Disappointment, frustration, feeling argumentative, anger, apathy, confusion, all of these come into play. How might that impact your world? Now, three more oils in this blend. Idaho Blue Spruce. This one's got a very pleasing and relaxing aroma. It helps with confusion, daydreaming, despair, disappointment, guilt, mood swings, restlessness, panic. How might that help you with your belief journey? Or your lang -lang. This helps relax the mind. It helps to overcome negative feelings. It helps with the emotions of frustration and anger, feeling drained, fear of wisdom or possessiveness. How might that help you in your journey to believe in a better situation? How about geranium? This one has a great way to ease nervous tension, fosters peace and well-being and hope. It helps with the emotions of despair, 
despondency, discouragement, confusion, apathy, agitation, abuse, and fear. How might some of these emotions get in your way and how might the believe oil help you overcome them? Well, now we've talked about the oil, how do we apply it? What you see on this slide is all the general applications. I want you to make note of a few things. There's some general places to put this, but special points to consider. I like to point that out. The stomach, the gallbladder, the small and large intestine, and the pancreas. So what I mean is actually put a drop on your hand and rub it on the abdomen on those body parts. So again, this is general application. <clears throat> there are more specific and unique things you can look at with this oil. Like for instance, these auricular therapy points. Now some of them are ones I just referenced, but these are like acupuncture points or acupressure is a better word for it. And let me tell you, if you get on the right point on that ear and it's a little bit sore, you know you've got the right point. So. Here's some you know, additional things you might want to look at. And see that brain one? That's the newly added one on this slide. And that one's to help address that limbic system we talked about in the brain, or the amygdala, where the brain, um, the part of the brain that, that processes fear and anger. But how do you apply this whole thing to your world? Well, it's very important. You gotta get quiet. You gotta become aware of your body and your emotions. Ask yourself, what topic requires my belief? Where do I need to raise my belief? For myself, for a situation, for someone else? Who do I need to believe in? What body part do I need to focus on? Now this is really important. You focus on the body part that maybe has been giving you trouble ever since this believe opportunity showed up in your world to have more belief in something. So also consider some of the points we talked about on the prior slides, the auricular therapy points and some of those other body parts on the abdomen. And what I like to do is when I have people apply this in their world, <clears throat> I like them to say an affirmation. Why? Because it's a, those are positive words. So you put a drop in your left hand, you clockwise three times with your right hand, palm on palm, and then you inhale and you say, it is safe to believe in the best for me. How awesome is that? That covers a whole host of belief opportunities, right? Now, this is a great way to apply this oil in your world to help you get to the next level. So what I'm asking you to do is raise your belief and notice. Notice everything. So apply the drops of the believe oil on the body part or the ear chart that we talked about earlier. It may take multiple daily applications, maybe for a few days or even weeks. Then I need you to look for a change. This is why I need you to raise your belief and notice. Look for a change in a physical body part or your emotional well-being toward people, whether it's the person you need to believe in around this situation, or maybe you start to see a belief in others that you never had before. Everything's fair game, so be open. Or maybe it's towards the topic we already selected for your personal belief scenario where you need to raise your belief. So it can apply to all kinds of things. Your job is to notice any change and all change on all topics, on all body parts, and on all people and towards all people. That's the bottom line. Because when I get you to understand how to notice, you're going to start to see how this is changing your world. Now, one last opportunity for you. Not every one of us is exactly the same. Have you noticed? We all have a unique fingerprint. That means we're unique. And so everything I've shared with you was general application. But if you really want to knock your socks off and believe at a level you've never seen before, 
You want to customize your Believe experience. So here's how you do that. First, you've got to get your Believe oil. You need to contact the person that invited you to this webinar if you don't know already how to get the Believe essential oil. If nobody invited you to this webinar and you just found it by accident, that's not a problem. You can go to my website listed here, lynnmoralesnd.com, and search on the word Believe. Now, then what you do is you request a customized consult through my website. In that session, what we'll do is we will identify the topic of interest most precisely. So maybe you think you need to have belief in a certain scenario, and I might zone in on a very particular and unique spot in that scenario. So maybe it's not the whole picture. Maybe it's just one aspect of it. That's what we're going to zone in on. So complete customization. We're going to tell you the exact location that that believe oil needs to be applied on your body. Remember, you're unique. Maybe you're having pain in your right big toe. Well, maybe that's where you should be applying this oil. It may not be those other general points I referenced. Then I'm going to recommend you the application amount and the dilution ratio unique for you because you're different. You're unique. We're going to bring in the sensory identification. What if there's a certain trigger that causes your unbelief to get out of balance? We're going to figure out, is it the sense of smell, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing? Touch, you name it, taste, we're going to pull that into your customized belief session. And guess what we're going to do then? We're going to find a personal affirmation that resonates with you. Why would we use the affirmation that's general? We may need an affirmation that resonates with you that says, I believe in a better world for my son, my daughter, my whoever. Maybe there's someone else, something very unique we need to zone in on. That's a customized session. Very unique, very special just for you. So I encourage you to check that out. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity to be on this webinar with you. And you might want to check out some of my other Emotions and Feelings series at my website, lynnmoralesnd.com. We are building quite a library around the different uh, essential oil blends by Young Living, and I think you're going to find a wealth of information. Thank you so much for joining me on this webinar.